Hi everyone, Sarah Lynn here. Today's practice will be a short practice of just pranayam or pranayama breath and mantra chanting to stimulate the vagus nerve. So your vagus nerve is the way that your central nervous system, central nervous system is your brain and spinal cord, the way that your brain communicates to your autonomic nervous system. Your autonomic nervous system is what regulates your fight, flight, rest and digest. So the higher vagal tone we have, the better equipped we are to deal with stressors, which we all need all the time, perhaps especially right now. So the vagus nerve, it translates as the wandering nerve because as it comes down into the body, it wanders all throughout the ears, the throat, the organs, the sex organs, and there are really lots of different activities that we can do to stimulate the vagus nerve. Today, we're specifically gonna focus on the throat. So we'll do two different breath practices, ujjayi breath, creating a little constriction at the back of the throat, and uh, brahmari or bee breath with an actual hum, and then we'll end with some mantra. And deep breathing, controlled breathing in and of itself stimulates the vagal nerve, increasing vagal tone, and then anything that stimulates the back of the throat, humming, singing, laughing, even gargling, stimulates the vagus nerve. So we're going to start in a nice, easy seat. We want to be nice and tall and be able to feel um, nice and open so we can take really full breaths. So I have actually brought myself onto the edge of my yoga bolster today so I can be up really high. You can do this on the edge of a chair, um, the edge of a meditation cushion, even the edge of a firm mattress if that's all you've got. So again, finding nice length in our seated shape so that we can feel open and have the space to take some nice deep breaths. We're going to start by just tuning into and observing the breath just as it exists in this moment before we come into our breath control practice. So settle into your nice easy seat. Find a place to rest the hand that's comfortable. If you're feeling like you need a little more energizing today or you're feeling more open to receive, you could allow the hands to rest palm face up. If you're feeling like you need a little more grounding, centering, calming, you could allow the hands to rest palm face down, or if there's another shape here that you prefer, or mudra that you prefer, go ahead and whatever that looks like for you. Invite the shoulders to fully soften away from the ears. Invite the spine to be gently long, and bring your gaze a little ways out in front of you, or fully close the eyes. Fully invite your awareness just to the sense of your breath coming and the sense of your breath going. Tuning into the rhythm, the movement, where does the breath travel to? Really inviting your awareness, just sit with that breath for a moment. And then we'll start to gently come into a breath practice here. So the way that I learned Ujjayi, or I should say the way I was finally able to really understand what was meant by it, um, was someone said, pretend that you are going to fog up a pair of glasses in order to wipe them off. So we create that little <sighs> sound, but we're trying to create that sound with the lips closed. So imagine you could create that same sense at the back of the throat, that <sighs> but then bring your lips gently together and see if you can create that sound again. So try a couple times here, just practice that. Bring the lips together, could you create that same sound? And try a couple more times. And then we'll actually come into a long, slow, full rhythm bringing in that ujjayi, bringing in that constriction at the back of the throat. So we're gonna settle back into that same shape we took at the beginning. We'll take a deep inhale through the nose, a slow exhale through the nose, creating that whisper, that ocean sound at the back of our throat. So find your long but soft spine, your relaxed shoulders. You can keep the eyes open, you can close the eyes partially, you can close the eyes fully. Take a deep inhale through your nose. Create that little constriction at the back of the throat. Deep exhale through your nose.
find one more. Releasing breath control. If they're not there already, bringing the eyes open. And then we'll come into Brahmari or B breath. So B breath is a deep inhale through the nose, a deep exhale through the nose, but we actually hum with our exhale. And I have seen many different hand positions, many different mudras over, over the years with the hands. The one that I like is bringing the thumbs gently into the ears. So the thumbs are actually going to close the ears and then the hands gently cover the eyes and then the tips of the fingers rest gently to the third eye the space right between the brow so i'm going to do a couple without my hands without my ears plugged just so we can get the sound of the hum so deep inhale through the nose exhale through the nose hum mm -hmm. Try one more, this time with the tongue gently pressing to the roof of the mouth just behind the teeth and um, tune into the level of intensity there for you as you try it this way. Deep inhale through the nose, tongue to the roof of the mouth, exhale hum. Mm -hmm. So for some of us, that, that tongue pressing to the roof of the mouth creates quite a bit more vibration. So if it feels like a little too much, we'll start without that. And then as you feel ready, you can add that in. So I'm gonna go ahead and bring my hands into position and I'll move through a few breaths like this. I invite you to move in with me. You can adjust the hands as you feel comfortable or as is needed. So it'll be deep inhale through the nose, exhale through the nose, tongue gently pressing to the roof of the mouth and hum. Mm. to practice will be a mantra we're gonna chant the sound of om we're gonna be in that same position hand position or mudra of your choice we're gonna take a deep inhale a full exhale a deep inhale and then we'll chant four sounds of om a o m silence a -om. inhale exhale Inhale, we'll do three ohms and then close. Find your long, soft spine, relax, shoulders, eyes open, close, partially open, your choice. Inhale, exhale to prepare, inhale to ohm three times. Exhale. Inhale to ohm. Ah. Ah. 
hope you enjoyed that short and sweet practice to stimulate your vagus nerve. If you want to continue to stimulate your vagus nerve today, you could do some deep belly breathing. You could get outside and take a walk in nature, or you could go and get a massage. Thanks for joining me. I hope you got some value out of today.